guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist, welcome to my studio. Today I will show to you how you can create very beautiful design in Adobe Photoshop using only one image and one workspace. So guys, let's start. I have opened Adobe Photoshop and also I have opened um, this image I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock. Of course guys, you can use any image you like. Also I have opened a Creative Cloud library. At the bottom of our Creative Cloud library panel, we have a plus sign. If you will click on it, you will see this beautiful menu. Click on create from image and voila. Now we'll go through tab to tab. First of all, we will start with pattern creation. Um, at the bottom of pattern uh, workspace, you can see that we have different types of uh, pattern uh, we can uh, use. Um, of course, guys, everything is up to you. Today, I will um, start with the first uh, type and I can um, move a scale slider to uh, create a different um style of my uh, pattern. If I will move a uh, slider all the way to the right, you can see that uh, I'm changing design of my pattern. If I will move a scale slider to the left, also you can see that I'm changing design of my pattern. Of course, guys, everything again is up to you. I will move my uh, scale slider about 25%. Also, guys, we have very helpful rotation slider. If you will move rotation slider, you can um, absolutely uh, completely change the uh, design of your pattern. Basically, you are um, rotate your uh, image. Also, you can rotate your image. Simply click on uh, your image and just rotate it or move it. Again, guys, everything is up to you. Today I will create something like this. It's kind of um, very beautiful pink color. It's kind of mist uh, shapes and I love it. After I'm happy with my pattern, I will click on Save to Creative Cloud Library. And this pattern will be saved to your active Creative Cloud Library. So our pattern saved to create, saved to open Creative Cloud Library, Tutorials Creative Cloud Library. Now I will switch to shapes. And here guys, basically Photoshop creates a shape for you uh, out of your um, active uh, document. We have very helpful detail slider. If you will move detail slider all the way to the right, you will add more details to your shape. If you will move your slider all the way to the left, you will um, apply less details to your uh, shape. Again, guys, everything is up to you. With particular Z shape, I will move my slider all the way to the right. I would like to have more details in this shape. Also, we have invert option and smooth on save. Guys, again, everything is up to you. I'm happy with this shape, so I will click Save to Creative Cloud Libraries and this uh, shape will be saved to my active Creative Cloud Library. Now, I will click on Color Seams. Guys, I love Color Seams option. I can create any colors based on my uh, image. Uh, as you can see, Photoshop creates a color sim for you. But if you disagree with Photoshop, you can click on any color stop icon and move it anywhere you like. I will move my uh, color stop somewhere in here, just like this. And now I have different colors. Maybe something like, let's see. Mm. Something like this, all right. And also I will move these colors uh, stop to this place. Now I have different um, shades, different tones of basically same color. I'm happy with my color seam and I will save this color seam to my Creative Cloud library, just like 
this. Now I will switch to gradients. Guys, I love, love, love gradients. I'm using gradients pretty much with everything. And again, Photoshop creates a gradient uh, for you based on your uh, active image. But again, if you disagree with Photoshop, you can adjust your um, gradient. I will click on this color stop icon and I will move it. Also, I will click on this color st stop and I will move it as well. Let's see, somewhere maybe here, just like this. And same with third one. Now I have very nice gradient. I'm happy with this gradient. I will click Save to Creative Cloud Libraries. So I created patterns, shapes, color seam, and gradient of, uh, based on one image. I will click Close. Guys, look at this Creative Cloud library. Here we have all assets we just created with you based on only one image and using only one workspace. Time to put everything together. I have created um, this simple document. You can create your document in any size you like. Remember, guys, we just created gradient with you. Double click on this gradient in your Creative Cloud library and voila, we have a gradient applied to our layer, active layer. Now, I will click on a pattern we just created with you, double click, and you will be able to adjust scale value for your pattern. You can increase scale value or decrease. Everything is up to you. Um, I will specify scale value to three and I will click OK because Photoshop applies pattern and um, all assets from my Creative Cloud library into my document as a separate layer. I can modify this layer in the way I like. First of all, I would like to change blend mode for, for my uh, pattern layer. I will um, switch to probably color burn. I love it. And also I will bring down opacity of this layer just like this. Now, I will click on our shape we just created with you and I will drag this shape into my opened document. I will um, resize it and I will change position of my pattern, uh, my uh, shape, I'm sorry, and I will click OK to accept all changes. Look at this, how beautiful is it? Now, guys, I will click on window menu. I will click on shapes. With the latest update of Photoshop, we have um, a lot of new shapes. I will scroll down my shape um, panel and I will click on leave trees. Here we have um, palm tree. I will click on it and I will drag it into my document. I will reposition it. I will increase size it size of it just like that and I will click OK. If I would like to change color of my shape, I will click on eyedropper tool. I will click on any color I would like to apply to my shape. Remember guys, we just created um, color seams with you. I clicked on one color in our color theme and voila. Guys, look at this. Basically, I'm done. Uh, we created a very beautiful image using all assets we just created with you using one image and one workspace. Guys, how awesome is it? So this is what I wanted to share with you today. If you have any questions, guys, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. And again, guys, if you want me to record some specific tutorial for you, just let me know. Thank you guys for your time. Super appreciated. Thank you for all your support. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.